Oh. Coffee. Where do we get to? Icarus dates are out today, June 21st weekend, so something to work towards. So the first portion of this was shelter, um, and with the tent that I mentioned last time, and what Giles has been able to do with sewing stuff, I am covered, I think. So the poles now have got longer straps, and they secure very securely to the frame, which I'll show in a minute. This is the bag Giles made, mentioned in the video up there. So this hangs on the side of the paramotor, off, off my arm, probably about there. And inside this bag, I've got all of my shelter for me and the motor, which is great because it's a bit of a TARDIS. And I'll show you what's in there. So this is the paramotor cover, straight over the paramotor. This is something Giles made. It's a light duty wing bag. It's made of parachute material, which is basically ripped off tissue paper. It's a standard wing bag. It's just very thin, very light, folds up very small. Uh, not one to take to the field and carry around by the string. It will come to bits. But this is to contain the wing and uh, pop it up under the paramotor cover and keep it safe overnight. What is this I put in here? I don't know. Ah, that's the riser bag, just a spare riser bag. Uh, that fits in there as well. Pegs. Fly sheet, I put that in one of the bags Giles made just to keep it together. And in the bottom here, which manages to completely fit in, is the tent itself. And that all goes in this bag. So that is shelter sorted. Cover wing bag. Boom, so I'll get that mounted on the motor in a bit and uh, then we can see everything on there. So here's the bag. Mounts on the side like that. Got some double locking Velcro over the back here. Everything goes in there nicely. And here are the poles mounted on the side. They are solid. Not going to go anywhere. Another thing Giles came up with, which I think is great for cross country long flights, is this cruise control. So here it's not affecting throttles hitting the stop. In flight, just pull it to where you want it. Bang. Brilliant idea. So that will leave the duffel on my lap um, free, basically, of any shelter. So I can get my sleeping bag in there, so that's no longer a problem. Sleeping bag and mat in there. That will compress down. Plenty of room on top for other things, i.e. water and food. I'm gonna make a little stove. Here's my cup. I'm hoping that everything, everything will fit inside here. Coffee. And I'm gonna make my stove out of this aluminium beer bottle. I'm going to cut it down there and then follow some steps from a video to make a very simple stove. Holes around the outside, some holes around the bottom. Uh, one flame goes inside to warm the centre and then some other flames come out around the top. That's the plan anyway, we'll see how that one goes. But in the meantime, I've got a box over there with Parajet written on it. And I know some of what's inside, but let's open that up. heavy. That's not a knife. This is a knife. So one of the things in here that I do know about is uh, a kit of, it's a, a typical Icarus, Icarus Trophy, Icarus X kit from Simon Walker. Not the best knife. The box has been here two weeks. I hope there's not a puppy in it. Lots of bubble wrap. Okay. So I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, which is pretty cool and a bit mental. I'm not one of those people who says like and subscribe. I think that's the first time I said it. Uh, but when I do get to a thousand, there'll be a giveaway through me from the good people at Parajet. So I'll keep that a little surprise for now. But as soon as I get to a thousand, um, I'll do some like comment below and all the comments will get put into a drawer or something like that.
So now I've pretty much decided on my kit, I thought I'd look at a kit from someone who has done it. So Simon has done a couple of Icarus X trophies. He did the recce for uh, South Africa last year or this year, which means he basically flew the route. Um, so this is the kit and I spoke to him, he said it's fairly typical of what everyone's carrying. <laughs> it smells like it's been paramotoring. Okay, I guess we take this to bits. Okay, so this face is forwards in flight. We've got a mirror on a retractable for checking. A little pocket for a bottle of water in flight. Another little pocket round here for something, possibly the radio or the tracker. A multi-tool, a very manly multi-tool, Jeep. Another pocket with the uh, Molly connection on this side. There is ah, this is two-stroke oil, isn't it? Not something I need to worry about. More Molly on the outside of that. Uh, compass on the outside for your sort of directional nav. This is all well packed, and whether I'm able to get it all back in there, I do not know. Now I know Simon goes for the tarp over the frame, very basic camping, and I'm assuming. Ah, that looks like a blow-up mattress, I could be wrong. Yeah, that's your blow-up floor mat. Keep you insulated from the ground at night. So I've got one of those, check. This is a good opportunity to find other things that I haven't thought of. So one of those, we've got a spork. Tie wrap, cable tie, pen. There's his tarp, three by 2.9 meters. Sleeping bag in the hated little stuff sack. I should imagine that that is better quality than mine, uh, but maybe it's not, who knows. Pouch of coffee, keep it for the food ones. Power bank, hot chocolate sachet, more cable ties, obviously expecting bits to drop off. A uh, little notebook which mentions Africa with some grid references in there. Sugar, plug in USB light, some LEDs in there. Bathroom bag, toothbrush, toothpaste, lip seal, pain relief tablets, sun cream, more sugar, it's got a sweet tooth, flossing stick, another little USB light, a cigarette lighter, a fold up cup, small first aid kit, got one of those, check. Cooking equipment, that's my next stage. Uh, bag of pegs and guy lines, very light aluminium. Uh, bin bag. Okay, I managed to get all that back in the bag, eventually. That's pretty cool. I like this little duffel. Feels tactical. Makes me feel like a bit of a budget with this. But hey, I'm on a budget. I think that'll do just fine. But I'll obviously look for something a bit more dedicated in the future. So my next step is uh, heating water, basically, for hot drinks and food. As I said, I'm going to use those uh, dehydrated food packets. This is my little cup. That's going to be my stove. This is just a little windshield off eBay. Very light, holds it very flat. Keep the wind out while you're cooking. So as I said, I need to be able to heat water for the packets of food, which don't take a lot of water. 0.4 litres, 0.175. So they don't need a lot, but I guess to be safe, I need to be able to heat two cups of this. So I reckon a coffee is about 300 ml, a litre most at each time. This stove is gonna be that high. That's gonna fit in there. So making a stove is the next thing. There's a variety of alcohol stoves that people have invented and made. A lot of them are made from the bottoms of two cans, like Coke cans. Uh, the bottoms of two put together with a wall internally and then a capillary action at the outside. Uh, there's simpler ones that just have stuff, fuel sitting in the bottom. And then this is the simplest one I could find. It's just basically a pot with a row of holes at the top and a row of holes at the bottom. You fill it up to the holes at the bottom, light it, burns inside, put your cup on top. As the gas um, 
boils off and comes out the top, you can light around the outside as well to heat the outside. So that's the next stage. Do that, do a boil test, work out, well, check it works and um, make sure that I can fairly quickly and easily make enough water, hot water for a packet of food and a coffee. That's the plan. That was a learning experience. Need a few more tweaks. As I get the food thing together, I'll get the kit made up and I'll update in future Road to Icarus videos. Next, I think, is gonna be navigation. Get a Kobo, um, get all the bits sorted for that, GPS chip and navigation, battery life, etc. Let's do it. Okay.